Hello and welcome. Today we're going to go over how to access, remove, and replace the low voltage transformer in an ACIQ AHB model air handler. This knockout is where your breaker would be. This being a demo on a new unit, this knockout panel has not been removed, but out in the field this would be open to reveal the main power breaker. You would turn off the breaker to interrupt power so you could work on the unit safely. The top panel is the one we will remove. This demo is showing the air handler in the upflow position. If it were installed downflow, the panel we remove would be on the bottom. So let's remove these screws. And then just thread them back in to keep the lower panel from tipping forward while we're working. Okay, our panel is off. Now, power comes in here at L1 and 2. In the field, the first step would be to test power. We set our meter to volts AC, and we touch across L1 and L2 to verify there is no voltage present and it's safe to begin working on the unit. The transformer we're looking for is located behind the subassembly right here, so we will need to remove the subassembly to get to it. Now even though we have turned off our breaker and tested for zero voltage, we still need to wait 5 to 10 minutes for any lingering DC voltage to dissipate from the board. While we're waiting, let's take a look at the data transfer board. We see the wires beneath the white sheathing. There are two red wires. This is the output from the low voltage transformer, giving you 24 volts. And on the side here is the main board. You'll see this pin right here with a red wire and a blue wire. These are also going back to the transformer. Give them a quick tug and you can see they run back behind the board, confirming we will have to remove the subassembly. Okay, we've waited long enough to make sure we can safely work. We're going to begin removing wires from the boards so that we can remove the subassembly. If you think there's any chance you might get confused about how our wire connections are made, you may want to snap a quick cell phone picture to give you a visual reference when it comes time to reassemble. Now, we can remove the main power pin and set it off to the side. Next, we continue removing wires from the board so that we can remove it. As I disconnect each set of wires from the board, I draw the wires down through the grommets into the lower compartment. This will make removing the subassembly that much easier and will make sure not to cause any damage. The subassembly is held in by two retaining screws, which we will remove. Then our subassembly is loose and we can remove it. Next, we remove any wires connecting the transformer in the back. You may need to use a screwdriver to release the tabs. Feed the wires through the ports the second one pops right off. Then we can flip the subassembly around to reveal the transformer. As you can see, it is secured to the back of the subassembly with two screws. We simply remove the screws to release the old transformer. It 
in the field, you would now replace the old transformer with a new one. Since this is a demonstration on a new unit, we will simply put our good transformer back in. Replace the screws. Then route the wires back through the hole. Your transformer is replaced. Now we reassemble everything. Notice as we go to replace the subassembly, there's a tab which needs to fit into this slot. First, let's replace some of our wiring into the same locations we previously disconnected. Then slide the subassembly in, making sure the tab is seated into the slot. Next, replace the subassembly mounting screws. You can reattach wiring in any order as the unit is completely powered down. We will replace the main power first. Then we take the bundles of wiring from the lower compartment and feed them back up through the front and rear grommets just as they were before. Color coding helps you replace your wiring correctly. Take your time making sure everything is in the correct location and securely attached. And with that, we have replaced the transformer. Thanks for watching.